in Memories of Mars, you're basically a long frozen colonizer that wakes up long after the early Mars colonists are dead because of spiders. <laughs> Not spiders. Metal robot spiders. I guess that's slightly better. And from there, you run around and build stuff. That's the gist. How do you feel about Memories of Mars? I really actually, I, I love this game. I kind of, I wish we could play this long term. In my opinion, if the points we're going to discuss in a bit weren't a thing, this would be a long term game for me. Maybe even a seven days. Well, all right, there you go. If you can't be asked to listen to us, there's there's our opinion. <laughs> go watch seven days. Go go play seven days instead. Yeah. So from the start, early impressions, the tutorial doesn't really draw you in. No. It's the kind that really takes your hand and forces you to do every tiny little thing. Oh, look, you're walking along. There's a ledge. What are you going to do? Are you going to press B and duck underneath <laughs> it? You never even considered that, did you, you fucking pleb? <laughs> Like, I've played a video game before, you know, this is basic 101. It builds into some things that you maybe need, but it's not a great start. Yeah, I feel like everything that it tells you to do, it could tell you to do just in like a small pop-up corner thing when you start the game. And if you notice it, you notice it. If you don't, you don't. It's your fault. (laughs) The way it should be. Yeah, exactly. You're goddamn right. I don't want to fix that on the tutorial because (laughs) it ended, we moved on. When the game starts, you get to drop onto a map. You can go at the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. Different areas have different things, different visuals. But for the most part, it's a big red wasteland. It's Mars. Yeah, and there's not really much variety in Mars. Mars is kind of just Mars. So once we dropped in, we had to do the classic MMO survival game task of figuring out where the fuck we were (laughs) and where the other person even was. And pick things up. Just pick up all. Pick up everything. Generic hit everything, pick everything. Yeah. We found each other quite easily. I I think it's not at day Z level of... Where, where do you even start? No, you drop in the same area yeah. and you can kind of find each other just through that. You can use the landmarks yeah. and you can invite each other to an alliance or whatever it's called. There is also a map. There's also a map. There is which a is map. I don't know what, <laughs> which, which is very useful. From there, um, I, I wish, like you said at the start, I wish I could say that the game got better mm. and I started to enjoy it and get into it because I was willing to learn this game. Things like Ark. I don't like Ark because I'm not willing to learn that fucking game. <laughs> but there are dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Yeah, because I, I, I remember when we started playing it, every 10, 20 minutes or so, I kept saying, you know what? I think I think I can really enjoy this game. I think I think this might be this might be the next kind of like long term game. The unfortunate part is we weren't saying that because it was so great and we just loved it. We yeah. were trying to convince ourselves that we were capable of playing this long term. And it's not. It's not there. No, no, it's it's not there in so many ways. The main problem is how laggy it is. The performance is... Dreadful. That's putting it lightly. That's being uh, light on the game. It's unplayable. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's wrong. But you can't even walk without dropping frame rate. It's unbearable. And even running is just horrific. Oh, in the visuals for this, I'm going to do what I can to cut around that. I'll show it when we're talking about it, obviously, as an example. But it's it's so unpleasant. Yeah. It's, it's It makes it you make, nauseous. It makes me feel really sick. <laughs> but regardless of how much I cut out, we cannot stress enough how much this game stutters. It's not ready yet. The second you start running you're fucked like (laughs) and then sometimes if you run too long your screen just kind of freezes for a bit but it's a shame because i was enjoying it i was really enjoying it it's really the combat that suffers the most in that because i think the combat's fine it's it works yeah and the creatures that you fight at first they get quite samey but then there are some different ones there's There's a big worm one there's a big worm like creature sandworm and there's a lot of different types of spiders spitting (laughs) spider there's a jumping spider an exploding spider i think it is worth mentioning we didn't get what i'd call far into this game i don't i don't we didn't even get far enough to know if there was if you could even get for, I don't know how much this game evolves and how much it grows into new different things and how much it introduces as you play because oh, it's just, oh, no. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the put downs. It seems to be the kind of game that's not really for people who just want to dip in and out. No, it's definitely not. Which is kind of, especially when you're working and when you have other stuff to do, you can't play one specific game every day. It doesn't really allow for short-term playing. Our house disappeared. Yeah, I'm so sad about that because we hadn't fully finished everything. We were making a second level. It was quaint. It was cute. It wasn't the best, but it was ours. And we weren't even going to stop playing that day, actually. But the game just crashed and we were like, right, okay, it's just telling us to stop. 
Then we, we went on a week later because we were busy that week, so we didn't have time. And then it was gone. The servers obviously refresh quite often. Which we realised afterwards. On paper, I like the way they've made that because servers have to refresh. Because yeah. there's only so many you can run, and if they get filled and filled and filled, your game ends up looking like yeah. how this game looks. Which I accept. And the way, the way you can stop your stuff specifically from disappearing is essentially by building on it. Every piece of your house, every individual part has an individual timer. And if you use it or you change it or you even go near, like if you interact with it in any way, that timer will go, oh, you're playing the game. We'll keep this. You can upgrade it with the in-game points, but no, just have it be a good amount of time. It's it's, it's a couple three day, days, I think. Three days at start, you can upgrade it to, I think, seven. A week would be decent enough. I feel like if it was a week, maybe we could give it a bit more of a chance. But three days? I've not got time to keep no. logging into this game just to make sure my house doesn't disappear. Yeah, it's too quick. It ties into another issue I have with the game, and we'll go over this and then we'll bring it back round. Mm. But the server we were in was hardly densely populated it wasn't teeming with life i think we met two people all together it might have been because maybe more people are playing the pvp servers but i think what's more likely happened here is the people who made memories of mars have done that thing that all smaller mmos do and they presume they'll make a massive game and people will be playing it all the time it's not gonna happen no this did not need to be an mmo of any kind take what you've got Make it single player with co-op. Yeah. To be honest, that would, that would solve all the issues. It would mean your your place wouldn't disappear. It wouldn't have to. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't have to make room for other people. You could just have it be there and it's there. Yeah. Uh, and you wouldn't have to fight random people if you just wanted a session of your own, which you, you don't have to because we did, we did PvE. Even the map could be smaller because there wouldn't need to be as much space for all these people. Yeah. Because it's, again, like most MMOs, the majority of the map is just empty stretches of land. Which is fine, but... But boring. Yeah. Most of the game is spent running in a straight line waiting to find something. <laughs> yeah. And this game isn't, it's not got quests. It's not got random mini games. It's, it is what it is. Wherever you are in the map, the game is what it is. Make it smaller. Populate it with some more preset buildings that are always there and aren't player built. You've got yourself an atmospheric little game. Yeah, because the atmosphere is great. And just being in Mars, being in space and being able to build a little house, that was great. It doesn't need to have other people in. I don't want all my games to have other people in. I want to be able to play with people I like. Yeah. I don't want to play with random people that are just trying to do their thing over there. And then they bother you sometimes. And maybe they can bother me. But in PvE, they can't even do that. No. I'm sure some people that... That's for them. But variety is the spice of life, right? <laughs> yeah. Give us the option and we will. I, I'd recommend it. It's a, good, uh, it's a great environment and it could be. That's why the whole time we started playing it, I was like, you know what? This could be actually be a really fun game because it was fun and there was moments and it could be enjoyable. Stuff like lagging would disappear if it was just a single player game that you could play some co-op in. It might be there if the performance isn't great, but it would definitely yeah. make it easier to handle that. Exactly. Our first experience of the night time being stuck in a building with all the spiders outside trying to shoot them and get out it wasn't it wasn't flawless no it wasn't a call of duty campaign mission with all explosions and it, but it was good and yeah. it felt natural it was fun i was even willing to look past one of my most hated pet peeves <laughs> that games do nowadays specifically console games because we did play this on console if you make a game on console and you have a game on pc <laughs> you are allowed to change the menu layout <laughs> I know Destiny did it, but not every game has to have the little circles and the, you can just use the D-pad to scroll through things. It's okay, it works. It was a little confusing to try and work out and figure out the menu system. I was willing to look past that. I was even willing to look past the fact that when you're crafting things in your little crafting station, you have to stay in the crafting <laughs> station. You can't just set it to go and walk around. Yeah. You have to stand there and stare at it as it does it. <laughs> I was willing to look past all these things that usually really fuck me off. But the game doesn't work. The game could be enjoyable. It could be great. It could be a fun thing to do with friends. I don't think that's going to change. I don't think um, it's a big enough game to be able to change, which is sad. I'm not going to lie and pretend I know when it came out, but I think it's been out for a year or so at max. Probably longer. I'd, I'd guess a couple. Typically, those things go away very quickly or they never go away. So I think Memories of Mars is, it is what it is. Mm. And it's not expensive, but it's not worth it. This is a sad one. It is. I wanted to like it. I know. We really went into this wanting to like it and actually excited for it because there's not a lot of games that we can play together like this. That's why we've played so much seven days because it seems to be the only game that we can actually play together properly. 
it's sad that we can't suggest to play it, but at the moment, and probably forever, it is unplayable. I guess it's back to seven days. Yeah. <laughs> One day. One day there'll be something else. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Do you play Memories of Mars? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Does it work better on PC? If it does work better on PC, then play it, definitely. It's oh, yeah. probably a lot more fun. And if you have time to play every three days, then go for it. Outside of that, if you did want to leave a like and subscribe, if you enjoyed the video, that would really help us out. And you can always support us financially on our Patreon if you have anything spare. We would really appreciate that, Tim. Cheers. Bye.